Awesome. So can I just have you start off coach and introduce yourself and then we'll go down the line and also introduce you guys as class individually, please. How you doing? I'm uh, Coach DeWitt Cotton, the head coach at Westchester High School. Um, been there 36 years, assistant for 32. Uh, no one knows, it's probably one of the most covered programs in the city mm -hmm. for the last 20 some years. And now we think we're back to where we want to be. Awesome. Uh, I'm Taj Reader, class of 2026, and um, I attend Westchester. Um, so my name is Ty Ying, I'm in the class of 2026. Yeah, and I attend uh, freaking Westchester. Uh, my name is Malachi Harris, class of 2026, I attend Westchester. I'm Gary Ferguson, uh, class of 2027, I attend Westchester. Awesome. So, Coach, you've seen a lot of basketball over your tenure, um, and and obviously Westchester has been one of the most touted programs throughout my years and, and beyond and before. So, um, what can you say about just the the current state of of Los Angeles basketball, and how important is it to have tournaments like these to kick off the season? Well, um, you know, this city has been down for the last few years. And I think uh, now that we've gotten some of our kids who parents have played in the city, their kids are back and playing in the city. So now I think that, I think we have a chance to leap to a, a level that we haven't been in the last few years. So, um, and being able to have some of these games that are coming up this week, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be good for the city and, and, and for the kids. Um, I th I'm pretty excited by it. Uh, my guys are pretty excited by it. So um, we're ready to get going. Awesome. Um, I also want to ask you, Coach Roy Walker um, has, you know, basically coordinated this entire tournament, but also been a, a, an integral part of Los Angeles basketball and inner city basketball being back at the place where, you know, we've had Trevor Reza's and Wayne Poley's and all these guys come out of. Um, what, what is the importance of that to you? And, and how does that impact this next generation of talent coming up? Well, you know, Roy is actually been pretty good, you know, for the kids. I mean, he's there every day. He does a good job of working the kids out every day. And, you know, we all have our ups and downs with him. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty good for him to be to put on something like this, you know, to try to bring the kids together. I mean, most of these kids play the AAU with each other or against each other. So I think it's, it's, it's going to be a, a great opportunity for all the kids and, you know, parents to come out. It's, it's a local thing. It's not far out. So... I think it's going to be it's going to be pretty good. Now uh, this this is for the players. Uh, can you, you all just talk about just with a coach who has this much experience? Can you talk about the experience that he has, the impact he had on you all just throughout your years there? Uh, uh, you know, he came from a winning era, so he's just showing us like the ways that they was going or, or had at the time, and just pointing into us. Uh, yeah, same thing. Uh, just, in, just um, trying to help us like find a way to win. Honestly, I think just that. I think it's just simple. Uh, I've been there like three years, so my three years there, he's been like teaching me ever since my freshman year. Just like what I got to do to stay up there and just keep winning. I feel like just him and his experience just taught us a lot about how they used to play back in the days, and we just want to bring it to the new era. I also want to ask, because there are some new pieces to your team, um, how important and pivotal are these kind of moments preseason before you get into conference to kind of build uh, a winning mentality? And uh, what are you most looking forward to about the season? Well, with this team, like, we, we have a chance to win, like, go far, go state. So we want to, like, build our win mentality early just to, like, so that we have it throughout the season. Uh, just knowing that you got – no, go ahead, go ahead, bro. Uh, I was just going to say, you know, we got a few pieces, one being myself and over there. We got a couple over there. Uh, I just think we 
the preseason just gives us or gave us the chance to uh, build chemistry with each other. You know, some of us we've played with each other before, but just giving us the chance to uh, everything out. Um, but now that you guys know that you guys got a huge opportunity to uh, win state, you know, just how 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 have you all been able to just keep y'all you, you all poised and just not just not get too high and not to get too low? Uh, just in practice every day, uh, knowing we got to push each other. Uh, you know, everybody has their ups and downs, but just coming together and pushing everybody to it. So figuring it out. Um, probably just saying, uh, just just. 50, honestly, I think. Uh, don't get too high and don't get too low. Just staying like the same. I think I think that's why. Um, Coach, now can you talk about just how have you seen the game just evolve over the years? You know, just with, you know, you've seen different generation after generation after generation. You know, just with this new group, and I know like things have changed with social media and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? How have this impacted you? And just what are some things that you learned? From, I know as a as a veteran coach, there there's things that you can learn from these young guys. Well, you know, when I started some thirty something years ago, kids were different. You know, and the whole game was a little different than it is today. There wasn't a lot of social media. There wasn't a lot of media stuff going on. So now that all oh, this is going on. I say kids are a little different. You have to treat them a little different. You have to uh, understand who you can get on and how you can get on them to get the response that you want from them. Uh, so for the most part, for most of my kids, they're good kids. You know, they come from pretty good homes and it's an adjustment for them, you know, being able to understand what we are trying to accomplish, you know, for them, you know, because I, I, I tell them all the time, I mean, I've been at the highest level. I'm going to try to get you guys to have an opportunity to reach that peak too. I mean, uh, and like I say, they they good boys, you know, so I think they starting to figure it out, you know, so we're going to see, I mean, we have a tough preseason. I mean, we're all over the place. I mean, we're, we're opening it up next week with three tough games. You know, we're going to D.C. to play two games. You know, um, going to Vegas, going to North Carolina. So, I mean, our December is it's tough. It's going to make us or break us. So, I mean, that's where we're at. And all the years in the past, I think what helped most of our, our really good teams that we had is when we went away from from home and it was just us and we had to bond together. You know, it's like us against wherever we was going. So I think being going to these places is gonna help that help that part for us. And at the end of the day for me, for most kids and most of the teams I've had, they like each other. So as long as you like each other, you're going to fight for each other. So that's that's what we had now. You know, just a closed fist is better than an open fist. So we're starting to close it. So that's where we're at now. Absolutely. Now with this, and this is for the players, now with this, with this game coming up, can you talk about just what are you guys looking forward to just playing against, against all this talent? Like I asked the other team, what are you guys looking forward to against playing with all this talent? Even when it comes to you know, like I said, talking to each other, competing, you know, winning the game. Do you guys got predictions? You know, is it somebody individually you, you feel like you want to you want to battle this and give buckets to? You know what I'm saying? So can you all elaborate on that? Yeah, I think it's just a chance for everybody to see where they at. Um, I know it's going to be a lot of eyes at the game. So, I mean, I don't really, I don't really talk to us. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't really care. I don't, like, even talk about that. Or I don't even, like, even... Yeah, I don't really care, honestly. I just play my ball, or I just play ball, honestly. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to the competition of the game, seeing how well they're gonna play, how well we're gonna play, see who come out on top. Yeah, we're not gonna do too much talking, we're just gonna play. And then can y'all talk about where does that mentality come from? You know what I'm saying? Like, well, how does that, you know, a lot of people, they wanna kinda just jaw back and forth with each other, you know, but you guys are mature about it. You know, you guys wanna show, 
I want to talk on the court, you know, show what your game and things of that nature, you know, that's, that's a, a lot. You know what I mean? That's a, uh, th that takes a lot of growth. When did, when did you see that you guys get to that point in your, in your, um, throughout your high school careers at what point? And what was it, was it coach that kind of got you there? Was it parenting? You know, how did you all get to that point where you all just, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk, do my talking on the court. Really, uh, I feel like we all really matured over our preseason this year. I feel like we was all a little bit immature where we come from because we all came from different places. So this for our coaches to bring us together and build that bond, it just made us more mature. What was the question? Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, um, probably just practice, honestly. Uh, probably hanging out. Probably outside of basketball. I think that's what. Yeah. Uh, I say what brought us together is definitely our practices. You know, we had some hard practices, uh, some games. Um, probably just, I mean, I don't, I just don't think it's no point in like, unless somebody talk to me, you know, I'm not going to talk to you. I, I'm not going to go to to talk to you. Now, Coach, now what's your philosophy behind that? You kind of just let the players do their thing on the court, you know what I mean? Do you get on them? You know, uh, what's, what's your philosophy behind that, you know? Well, I mean, uh, you have to understand, I was coming up as a young coach. I was the head guy, I was the old school guy, and he had certain principles that he instilled in the kids every day. And the one thing that he instilled in was to come to work hard every day. You know, and that's what I'm trying to, you know, give these guys just all philosophy of how we want to defend and how we want to play offensively. Uh, and like I say, they're, they're getting there. And I mean, I, I say we may be a little struggle early in the season, but I don't want to be the team to play them late in the season because they're going to be pretty good. So, I mean, and I have a lot of talent. I have a lot of talent and they're young. I mean, I got, I have 12 guys. I got nine guys coming back next year. So this is going to be a good group this year, but not, not, a lot of good chances to do a lot of things this year. Now, Coach, I'm curious. Now, you have, like you said, you have a lot of talent. Um, and also, obviously, you got Taj right now with a lot of eyes on him. How do you feel like that's going to benefit the rest of the players who might not have as many eyes on them as well or just the average, the average player that's, you know, how, what do you see, like, you know, the college opportunities or the, you know, potential coaching opportunities or anything that's, you know, that's going to allow them to go to the next level? Well, you know, like I tell them, because of all the previous years of teams that we've had, everybody's going to give them their best shot. Even the worst team is going to give them their best shot. So we cannot ever think that we can play at a lower level because that lower level team is going to play us at their best level. So that's another fight that I'm, I'm we're dealing with is being able to continue to play at that level game in and game out. So that's kind of where we at because like I say they're young. I mean, and a lot of them haven't ever been in a program like this before. So they're getting used to that part of it. So, I mean, for them, I have a lot of the guys come back in, in the past and they didn't steal the same thing to them about how this program is and, and what's expected of it, you know, because we, people have always expect us to be at the top. When we they thought we were in the middle or at the bottom, it's always still even killed. So this year's group has to understand that we, this is where we're going, so you got to be ready for it. And, um, and, and this is my last question just for the guys. Uh, like I said, with all the talent that you all have, what opportunities have you all seen come from this? Obviously, obviously you guys got a lot of college opportunities, but, you know, just how, do, how have you all seen each, each and every one of you all grow with just all, with the hype around you all? If I can start down here, start down here then, Oh, uh, like picking up NIL, 
picking up clothing brands just to get my name out there, showcase my game. Uh, yeah, more opportunities came from Ty. So like, as we keep on winning, every like everybody in our group that plays and everybody that shows out, they have a chance to like go out and get an offer or just get something that they never had before. Um, wait, I can't. Um, probably, uh, probably the clothing brands, like I got a bunch of like some clothes and stuff. Uh, but I mean, every time I play, uh, probably, probably like the eyes on me. Uh, yeah, I think it's still the eyes on me and, uh, probably, yeah. Uh, I think, I think it just gave everybody, even me, like more opportunity. Um, uh, you know, with, like they said, branding. And uh, just coaches, there's any opportunity, you know, it is, there's more eyes on us now. You know, we're on a bigger platform, so there's more chances and opportunities. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.